Hi there, friends. Today we're going to talk about the severe weather threat for Monday, July 7th. It's already out there, but what's it going to do tonight? And then uh, Tuesday, small threat. And then uh, Wednesday, another chance. We might see right now it's a marginal risk. It might get upgraded. We'll see. Um, but lots to talk about. And uh, so if you would do me the honor of subscribing to my channel and like it, do all that kind of stuff, that would be fantastic. So much appreciated. Just have to say that every time. Hopefully you can just click that button just real quick. Just like, subscribe. Boop, there you go. Okay, instability. Where are we at for storms Monday night? This area right here has the highest instability. And it's not even that high. There's a little bit there. And there's a little bit there. So what is happening here is there's going to be storms coming through here and then storms coming down through here. So I think what is going to happen is the storms that come down this track, because some have come, there's some coming from South Dakota and some coming from Colorado. I think the ones that follow this track right here will be stronger, and the ones that are coming like this will likely merge with those storms eventually while dying off as they do so. Um, the one, I think some, there's two main concerns here. Uh, wind and uh, and hail. Now I've already been seeing a lot of big hail and that usually happens where there's a lot of moisture. So uh, it's been happening around this area and it may happen around this area. And how? what, what are the sizes of hail? I, I don't know if I've gone through this with you. So let's talk about it here real quick. Uh, you've got your smallest one, pea size. Never use marble, by the way. Marble can be this big, this big, there's big ones, there's little ones, there's medium-sized ones. Marble is all over the place. So I, most people think, well, it's just that normal marble size, but we don't know for sure. So this, these are the things you should use. Pea size, that's a quarter of an inch, just tiny little things. Penny, you, this used to be the severe weather criteria. If you saw three quarters of an inch, it was a severe thunderstorm warning. Now it's a quarter, which is one inch in diameter. And oddly enough, we still see the same amount of severe thunderstorm warnings as we used to with penny size hail. Now it's just quarter size hail, but I think it's, the mindset is, eh, it's close enough. Ping pong, that's inch and a half. Golf ball, that's when it starts to get a little up there. And then you're looking at tennis ball size hail, baseball size hail, you've got softball size hail that's uh, over three inches, three and a half inches, I think. Um, so once you start to get past two and past golf ball, it's, it's, it's never good. Okay, so Monday night into early Tuesday morning, almost the entire state of Nebraska under a severe weather potential, marginal or slight. Most of it is slight. That's that yellow shaded area. What does it mean? It means we could see a tornado from Sioux City all the way slicing down towards North Platte, McCook, O'Neill, north of Grand Island, north of Columbus, just that kind of that thin, narrow area right there as storms get going. Large hail, definitely a possibility. Damaging wind. This is a little interesting. They keep moving this around a little bit. When I say they, I mean the Storm Prediction Center. And now it's this area right here. That What I just circled, that's where the black hash, uh, hash marks are at. And that means that wind in excess of 75 miles per hour is possible in this area. That usually does some pretty good damage where it knocks down trees, especially where it, you have some rain-soaked ground like uh, Grand Island. Saw a lot of rain today, saw a lot of rain not too long ago, and now you get a 75 to 85 mile per hour wind pushing on those trees full of leaves, they get knocked out. Those go into power lines, on and on we go. So that is certainly a possibility. Now here's kind of the setup. This is Monday 9 p.m. And any of this right here could be, see how it's kind of curved there? Let me redo that. See how it's kind of curved there? It's kind of curved there. That area is most prone to your, your winds of 75 miles per hour. All right. And see how, that, see how that's curved right there? This is your wind potential, the reverse C. Whenever you see that reverse C, that means you're gonna have a pretty good chance for seeing some wind. These could be hailers. This is probably a hail potential and a hail potential down there. Continuing on to around just before midnight, seeing that wind right there, it's kind of spreading out a little bit. So it's getting out of that wind criteria and maybe turning into more of a heavy rain with some gusty winds around 60 miles per hour. 
and then it eventually moves through the Lincoln area tonight around midnight, which is at the time of this recording about four hours from now. But see at that wind and then behind it. So it'll be wind first then heavy rain and some hail afterwards. Cluster heavy rain right there near Grand Island, which they don't need. Then moving on, as we get past midnight into one o'clock in the morning, it starts to move into South Central and Southeast Nebraska and eventually moving out uh, past Beatrice, past Fall City. And then by 6 a.m., that's it. So there is the potential for excessive rainfall. Now this is uh, from the Weather Prediction Center. You can see this whole area right here, shaded in green in Southeast Nebraska. We've kind of already been seeing this already where there's been uh, storms that form and then they don't really move very far very fast or there's a storm, it moves and another one forms right behind it, right over the top of that same area and on and on and on and on. That could happen in any green shaded area. So excessive rainfall of possibilities. We head through uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning, something to keep an eye on. Now severe weather threat, this is, I'm gonna zoom out so you can kind of see what where the main threat is, which is between Wichita and Dallas. But Nebraska is just kind of on the northwestern edge of that potential. So if you live in southwest Nebraska and into the Panhandle, you might see one or two strong storms. Day two, which is Tuesday, I'm not really that concerned about. There's the hail potential. Notice it's one count, one, two counties in Nebraska and the damaging wind threat again, the very southwestern corner of the state. Uh, Wednesday though, Wednesday's starting to look a little interesting because now we've got this swath that goes from about Knox County all the way down and up to Dawes County, and then it goes into South Dakota and down towards Kansas. So this area has the potential for some severe storms. So let's look at what Stormcast is saying for Tuesday, or excuse me, Wednesday afternoon. Nothing yet, but okay, here it comes. And this isn't going to shock you <laughs> this you're gonna go really but this is just the beginning it's still two days away uh, so this is one of the medium ranged models that we have so it throws a cluster of storms out across uh, north central Nebraska so you have that wind threat again like this the reverse C kind of upside down this time that's 9 p.m. And then 11 p.m., it kind of turns into a cluster. So then all of a sudden it's a hail, a hail potential, and then it just starts to diminish and fades away. So it's not a big deal. But the thing is, when we see it this far out, usually models aren't really latched onto exactly what's happening. But when you see something like that, where it's a wind event turning into a hail event, the potential is there for some strong to severe storms. It may balloon out. It may throw some outflow boundaries out there that the models aren't picking up on you, and more clusters of storms a possibility. So that's that. Okay, uh, good luck. Uh, if severe weather gets to be crazy, I will uh, be streaming live on YouTube and uh, you can like and subscribe that as well or subscribe to my channel. That way you know I'm, I'm streaming live um, and uh, that's where I'll be. Be safe, everyone.